In this video I'm going to show you how to create a brush, a custom brush. Uh, this is a photograph that I took a bunch of years in Barcelona and I've always liked it but it's not a very good photograph. If you get close enough it's pretty noisy and uh, things are out of focus but I've always liked it and I wasn't sure what to do with it so I had uh, I saw some tutorials once on something similar to this so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, let's first unlock the layer like I just did here. Let's add another layer and we'll turn this one off. So we've just got this blank layer here. Go up to your select tool here and we'll create a square. So just drag across and then push shift and it will make it into a square. Uh, something like that. And then just let go. Um, and then push shift backspace or shift delete. and It'll bring up this prompt. Do a 50% gray. Drag it down 50% gray. So the way these uh, the way these uh, brushes work, that if it's uh, the more the lighter the color on the inside here, the more transparent it will be, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. Uh, so I'm going to add a stroke as well, and we'll that'll just give us a border. I'll put it on the inside of the square and make it a bit bigger, something like that. That should be cool. All right, push OK and deselect. So this will be our brush, and it only the brush only identifies. It. You can make a brush out of anything as long as it's gray and black. Um, so what we do now is go up to uh, Edit and Define Brush Preset, and we'll just name it um, Black. Let's just name it gray square. Okay. So now, I actually don't even need this layer anymore. Let's just trash it. Let's turn this on. Turn on another layer. Drag it below. And it's got to be just a blank layer here with the checkerboards. So then what we do is press Alt. And you can see Alt or Option. You can see as I hover over this, there's a uh, arrow. It's a clipping arrow. And just clip this Let's... there so we clip the photograph inside this layer and there's nothing on this layer for it to shine through or to come through you can see here it's still on but you just can't see it it's clipped into this so then what I do is I click on my brush and actually let's grab another layer drag it below make it white so I can don't see this uh, checkerboards so to make it white because white is my background color click command uh, backspace or command delete okay let's clip uh, click on the layer one here and we'll go find our brush remember to click on your brush and go to the very very end of your list you can see here I've been playing around with this already click on the very last one and you can see here, as I click around, it will shine through. And notice that the black parts are the darkest parts, and the gray part are the light parts. So you can see that that's pretty, pretty cool. OK, so that's a cool effect. So then let's uh, select all and delete. And I'll show you some other things. So somewhere around, if you're dealing with CS5 or below, that uh, you'll see this little icon. This is your uh, brush presets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change a few things. Right now it looks like this. Every box is the same size and it's all sort of uniform. Uh, so if I click into Shape Dynamics, I can start to play with the size. You can see here that I'm going to have smaller boxes and bigger boxes. Well, let's drag that all the way to 100%. Let's see, I can get some really small ones. And angle jitter, I can make it sort of rotate. Since it's a square, I only need to go up to 45 if I want it to be able to do everything. And roundness will sort of play a game on like uh, the X, sort of add another axis, like a Z axis. So you can rotate it more than just uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm just going to leave that at zero. All right, scattering. 
So scattering is kind of cool. I'll just leave it at, let's go to two. And something like that. I don't know, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. So now what I do is I can just hold it down and I can just start to drag like that. You see they're all over the place. Many different sizes. And if I click just once, I can add it just one time if I want. But if I can drag, it'll add a bunch. So you can see here, this is a pretty cool effect. And that is all I wanted to show you. Pretty cool. Have fun with it.